In this first video lecture on vectors, we will discuss about the basics of vectors, graphical representation of vectors, types of vector, unit vector, negative of a vector, triangle law and parallelogram law of vector addition, scalar multiplication of a vector, and finally position vector. Vector is a physical quantity having magnitude and direction. For example, force is a vector. To specify a force, we need to specify how much strong or weak is the force. That is, we need to specify its magnitude and the direction in which it acts. A vector is represented graphically by a directional line segment. Length of the line segment represents its magnitude and the arrowhead shows direction in which the vector acts. Let us understand all this in detail. Let's represent a vector by a directional line segment like this, which starts at point A, which is called the initial point. Point A is called the initial point and terminates at point B, which is called the terminal point. So B is called the terminal point. This vector is denoted as AB bar or an arrow placed on the top of AB or vector AB bar as it is called. Magnitude of vector AB bar is shown by the length of segment. This is the length of the segment. This magnitude is denoted by the notation mod AB bar and shown over here. Let's represent a force F bar of magnitude 100 Newton graphically. We have AB bar equals F bar equals 100 Newton which we represent by a directional arrow AB like this. So this is vector AB. Its magnitude F bar which is 100 Newton will be represented by the length of the line segment to the scale. So this length gives the magnitude 100 Newton which is drawn to the scale. Its direction is from left to right, which is shown by the arrowhead. Vectors can also be denoted by small letters such as A bar, B bar, R bar, etc. for convenience. They are represented as shown. So this is vector A bar this is vector B bar and this is vector R bar. As long as the magnitude and direction of a vector A bar remains unchanged, the vector A bar is effective anywhere in the plane in which it lies. A vector A bar is effective here. It is effective here effective here and effective here as long as its magnitude and direction does not change. In types of vectors, we will understand some important types of vector. First, zero vector. 
zero vector is one whose magnitude is zero it is denoted by zero bar second equal vectors vectors a bar and b bar a bar and b bar are called equal vectors if they have same magnitude and same direction vector a bar and vector b bar have same magnitude their lengths are equal and same direction hence they are equal vectors third is unit vector a vector whose magnitude is 1 which may be 1 mm 1 cm 1 meter etc is called a unit vector vector v bar is a unit vector this one if its magnitude is 1 unit a unit vector v bar is denoted as v cap and it is read as v cap so a cap b cap c cap etc are all unit vectors fourth type is negative of a vector let a bar be a given vector a bar then a vector whose magnitude is same as that of a bar but direction is opposite to that of a bar this one and denoted as minus a bar is called negative of vector a bar so minus a bar which is this is negative of a vector a bar and vice versa let us understand vector addition the first in vector addition is the triangle law of vector addition suppose we are given two vectors a bar and b bar as shown this is a bar and this is b bar if we want to add a bar and b bar we have to take into consideration magnitude and direction of a bar and b bar we want to add vector a bar and b bar first draw vector a bar in magnitude and direction vector a bar in magnitude and direction draw vector b bar in magnitude and direction with its initial point at the terminal point of vector a bar the initial point of vector b bar should be at the terminal point of vector a bar so we will draw vector b bar like this now complete the triangle by joining the initial point of vector a which is this and the terminal point of vector b which is this so we will close the triangle by this vector the closing side of the triangle which is this in magnitude and direction this is the closing side of the triangle gives us or represents the vector a bar plus b bar so this is vector a bar plus b bar second is parallelogram law of vector addition suppose two vectors a bar and b bar in magnitude and direction are 
represented by the two adjacent sides this one and this one of a parallelogram OACB OACP the diagonal OC emerging from the initial point of A bar and B bar which is O represents in magnitude and direction A bar plus B bar that is addition of vector A bar and B bar. We will see scalar multiplication of a vector. If A bar is a given vector k is any scalar that is any constant then k a bar is called scalar multiplication of a vector k a bar is a new vector collinear with a bar for example if a bar is represented as shown then half a bar can be represented as where magnitude of half a bar is half that of a bar and 2 a bar can be represented as where magnitude of 2 a bar is twice that of a bar let a bar be a given vector and a cap be the unit vector along the vector a bar so this is a cap the unit vector along a bar then a bar equals mod a bar times a cap where mod a bar is magnitude of the vector a bar from this we get a cap equals a bar upon mod a bar which is the unit vector along a bar. We will understand what is a position vector. Let O be a fixed point and A, B, C etc be any points A B C be any points the vectors O A bar O B bar and O C bar O A bar O B bar and O C bar etc are called the position vectors of points A B and C We denote OA bar equals A bar, OB bar equals B bar, and OC bar equals C bar. Let A bar and B bar be the position vectors of points A and B with respect to fixed point O. OA bar equals A bar and OB bar equals B bar. Now by triangle law of vector addition we have OA bar plus AB bar equals OB bar. That is AB bar equals OB bar minus OA bar. When OA bar comes to the right hand side it becomes minus. That is AB bar equals B bar which is OB bar minus A bar which is OA bar. So AB bar will be B bar which is this minus A bar which is this. A 
in this figure if c is the midpoint of ab then vector ac bar equals vector cb bar vector ac bar equals vector cb bar if a bar b bar and c bar are a bar b bar and c bar are the position vectors of the points a b and c respectively then a c bar will be c bar minus a bar and c b bar will be b bar minus c bar that will be c bar plus c bar this minus c bar becomes plus c bar here this minus a bar becomes plus a bar here it will be 2 c bar equals a bar plus b bar that is c bar will be a bar plus b bar divided by 2 this is the position vector of the midpoint c in triangle abc prove that ab bar plus bc bar plus ca bar equals 0 bar let the pvs that is position vectors of the vertices a p and c of triangle abc be a bar b bar and c bar a bar is position vector of point a b bar is position vector of point b and c bar is position vector of point c left hand side which is this ab bar plus bc bar plus ca bar ab bar can be written as b bar minus a bar bc bar can be written as c bar minus b bar and ca bar can be written as a bar minus c bar here b bar minus b bar is 0 minus a bar plus a bar is 0 and c bar minus c bar is 0 so we get 0 bar which is nothing but the right hand side so since left hand side which is this equals right hand side which is this hence ab bar plus bc bar plus ca bar equals 0 bar is proved so this is about some basic concepts in vectors if you like this video please click the like button do subscribe this channel share this video with your friends and relatives who are in schools and colleges thanks for watching keep watching number collage thank you